Welcome to 2021. I'm happy to be here. How about you? You know, there's not a lot of gear showing up at my doorstep right now, and my next gig is several months out. So, you know, what are we going to do videos on in the meantime? I thought maybe it might be helpful to talk about some music lists, some stuff that you might want to think about putting together in a crate and having on hand just in case the situation arises where you need a certain genre. I thought I'd cover the one that I struggle with the most, which is country. If you want a country slow song list, I'll do one. But this is more of a fun party country list. I'll tell my clients when they come up to me and say, hey, can you play some country? Like, look, I'm the worst country DJ you could ever hire. They laugh, I play some songs, and they actually react very well to them. So here's my list for what it's worth. And once again, I'm not a country DJ, but these seem to work for me. Cruise, Florida, Georgia, Lion. It's a relatively modern country song, and I get a relatively good reception to it. Zach Brown Band with Chicken Fried. To me, it's almost the same song in the same band, so I play them within the same set, and they get an okay reaction. Toby Keith, Red Solo Cup. I've been doing very well with this song since it came out. And although it's a little more down-tempo than some of the other country tracks out there, people react pretty well to it. Old Crow Medicine Show, Wagon Wheel. I know a lot of people like to play that one. I'm going to screw his name up. Dietrich Rutker, is that his name? Hootie. People like to play the Hootie version. But most people ask for the original, which I believe is the original from 2004 from Old Crow Medicine Show. Luke Bryan with Country Girl, Shake It For Me. That song's been out for probably at least 10 years, but it still does incredibly well. Trace Adkins, Honky Donk But Donk A Donk. Yeah, still, they love that tune. When I play it, I get a pretty full dance floor. For these next couple songs, I'm going to go back in the time machine quite a few years. These are what I would consider country classics, but they work incredibly well when I'm doing mobile events, even in mixed crowds. John Denver, Thank God I'm a Country Boy, the live version. You must play the live version. It's got a lot more energy. The song starts out with a live audience clapping and hooting and hollering, and it seems like the rest of your audience gets involved with that energy. Instead of just playing like the studio version of that song, definitely go for the live version. Now you could argue this next song is a slow song, and it kind of is, but I would consider it more of a celebratory bar song because when you play it people tend to hang on each other and sing with a lot of passion to each other and that is David Allen Co. You Never Even Call Me By My Name. If you don't have that song get it in your library. If somebody's looking for old country or you've got an older kind of biker type guy in there looking for something old country throw that one on and he should be pretty happy. Don't play just any David Allen Coe song. <laughs> Trust me, just don't do it. But this one falls in what I would consider the safe zone, and you could play it for a mixed crowd, and it's fun, and if you have an audience that enjoys classic country, they'll enjoy it. Now I want to give you the two songs that I do the absolute best with for country, hands down. The first one is huge with the ladies, and that is Shania Twain, Any Man of Mine. Now, I know a lot of people like to do Man, I Feel Like a Woman or That Don't Impress Me Much. And the slow one, You're Still the One, is amazing. But there's something about Any Man of Mine that's just country. It's not a crossover song. It's not pretending to be anything else. It's a good song. People don't hear it all the time, so they really appreciate it when you put it on. And believe it or not, still the biggest one for me is Big and Rich, Save a Horse, Ready Cowboy. And to me, that one's kind of like when people yell at you for playing Elvis Crispo Suavemente for a Latin crowd. They're like, don't ever play that song. It's like, hold on a minute. When was the last time you played Suavemente for a Latin crowd? They eat it up. They love it. They love that track. So stop telling people to not play Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Stop telling people to not play Suavemente anymore because those songs work very, very well. And I'm going to give you a couple of bonus tracks and these are not proven. These are songs that I just kind of suspect might do well. And I'm going to try them. 
Once we start gigging again, when I get a crowd in front of me that wants to do some classic country. And this is some 80s flashback stuff. First up, Oak Ridge Boys, Elvira. I haven't heard that song in a long time. And it's a fun song, people know it, and I think they get a kick out of it. Next up, John Anderson was swinging. A lot of people have remade this song. I would go with the OG on this one. It's a fun song. The words are easy. It's got a nice beat. I think this one could do well. I'm going to give it a try. And the song that I'm looking forward to playing the most this year, for some weird reason, is Dolly Parton 9 to 5, which is a crossover tunic. It was a big top 40 hit. I want to play it for a couple of reasons. One, I haven't played that song in probably over 30 years. Two, it turned up in Deadpool 2 during a fight scene. That's a positive, so it's in pop culture. And three, I don't know why, but I'm always seeing news stories about Dolly Parton lately. Like, people are talking about Dolly. She's somebody that people like. And Jolene's big, and it's... A good song, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a big banger dance floor song. I think 9 to 5 would be the one to play from her if you're going to play some Dolly. So I'm going to give that one a try. So that's my country list. And some of you are much better country DJs than I am. And you know the stuff better than I do. And you're getting really great success from songs I'm not mentioning. Please let us know what those songs are in the comment section. I'd love to see them. This is not my strongest genre, yet I do very well with this handful of songs. So I thought I'd share them with you. So, anyway, I hope I helped somebody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your likes and your views and your subscriptions, and just know that I appreciate you. Happy New Year once again. Practice and enjoy.